How's it going, everybody? This is Tim with LiveCaseBreak.com. Museum night. We got our third and final pick your team filled up. Good luck, everybody. Case three, ready to go. We've had a couple nice cases so far. Each one had at least four case hit worthy cards. Each one had at least one one of one. First case had two. Both cases had a frame. We had a silver frame out of 15 and a black frame out of five so far. Let's see if we can get a wood frame one of one this time around. Or a book. I am pulling for you, Brian. Hopefully it's one of each for you, my friend. Got a pretty good dismount to get going. Super expensive hobby. I just gotta switch the garbage. Canadian born Russell Martin, born in Toronto. Moved to Montreal when he was a baby and actually spent a couple years in Paris when he was a kid. I will probably let's see. That's gonna be really tough to do, but yeah, we'll have all the hardware there. We'll probably have to. Um, Ron and Larry will probably do that. I have uh, delegated that down, so I go through and review all the final numbers, but Larry does all the, uh, the main work on it. So yeah, we'll cash those out there. I mean, at minimum, John, I can pull up the report, give you a number, and we can just do what we did last year, run a tab and settle up after. But I'm sure we'll have at least an hour to go through that. Sorry to hear that, bro. Let's see if I can change your fortune. You know, Ben, I make that point to a lot of people, too. Like, when they get pissed off, they have a bad break, or, you know blah 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 because obviously in, in my position I get a lot of people complaining after breaks and you know I get it none of you guys of course but that's a very common thing as a breaker you'll get guys like oh I only got this and that could you give me this back it's like, but anyways with the gambling it is it is better in that regard at least you're getting something you're not handing your money completely away then again, when you win with gambling, you get straight cash, so I can see the allure of both sides. I don't know, Charles. <laughs> I don't think you've ever emailed me after a break and asked for a kickback, though. Those are the guys that you see come into the room one night and you won't see them again, because that's just, you know, it's not, not common courtesy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it works, absolutely. <laughs> You've never thought about it until now, I just awoke it. <laughs> Should have kept my mouth shut, right? See, Corey's got about five years of uh, complaint letters to the LCB department. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Yes, perfect. But, here's the point I make. Whenever I pull you guys a thousand dollar card, we're not sitting there going, hey, kick us back something. That's just not how it works. It's a risk. It's fun. It's meant to be fun. We try to keep it fun. We don't try to do, you know, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that thought. I think I was going somewhere that I didn't want to say on screen, so I had to stop. Uh, I, yeah, Ben, I, our other Australian guy, Danny, same thing, man. And the other thing, Ben, the uh, the processing fees on PayPal for Australian payments specifically, very, very high. They take, I think, 9% now from us on anything we're sent. It's insane. That's why I ask a lot of you guys that are international, once I get to know you a little better, I ask you to send friends and family. They destroy with the sale. It's almost like they're trying to push people away from using it. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. You know, Steven, it didn't used to be that way, too. I mean, back in the day, we didn't have group break checklists. So, like, when we pro when we priced a break, we actually had to go through the product. I mean, it would take two to three hours per product. Go through the entire checklist, do it all. Now, group break checklist processes it all. It's like you click a button and you have a spreadsheet of who has what. It's amazing. That's why you see me give those guys love whenever I can. 
They are awesome. I just got an offer today at 2700 Crowder. I turned it down, of course. It's worth more than that. But yeah, you're they're starting to get uh starting to get higher and higher. Yeah, I know. I had to talk the guy down. He's like, 2700 is a very fair offer. You're never going to get more. I'm like, okay, I respect your offer. I'm just not interested at this moment. You know, give them the old PC customer service response. Powder their ass and send them on their way. <laughs> what? You don't ask for kickbacks, just consignment with you. I don't understand what that means, Chris. It, with the Jeter Super, I, if it was, it sounds stupid to say, but if it was any other product other than Finest, I feel like that would have been worth about a thousand more. Finest Supers, if you look them up historically, they just don't seem to sell like Topps Chrome and Bowman Chrome, even for veteran autos like that. But that, all that being said, that was still the highest offer that we had on that card in a year. So, I, I think you made the right choice. I don't think that card's going to go up that much more when he goes into the hall. Maybe 500, maybe 1,000, but I don't think it'll be that much higher. Yeah. You got hit with a fee, Joe? What kind of fee? I have no idea what kind of fee it could be. Griffey came out, yeah. Oh, uh, this was pick your team, Steven. I don't think anybody was selling because these were all pick your teams right out of the store. We didn't have a random to fill it, in other words. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to me ramble all night long. Here we go. Finale time on Museum. Again, if anybody wants a personal box, they are in the store. They're two nineteen ninety nine shipped. Grab one as long as it's ordered before the end of this break. I'll rip it tonight. Here we go. Case three. Oh, yeah, that's for using a credit card. Yep. But I think you saved money overall, Joe, because you would have had to pay sales tax if you sent goods. I think. I'm not sure because I haven't sent anybody money in New York and done the sales tax thing. But I think... It saved overall. I could be wrong. But yeah, if you send friends and family with a credit card, they take, what, 2% or something like that? They make the sender send it or sender pay it. Gotta love PayPal. Okay, here we go. Pack number one. One and two on Hernandez. I, I had to call you because the guy was, like, pressuring pressuring me to do so. So I was like, all right, I'll give him a call, and then I'll give you an answer. I wasn't sure what you were going to say, but deal got done, man. Here we go. Javi Baez. Bregman. And like I said, Crowder, I, I do think you made the right call now. Ripken. And Severino on a 75. 53. So the Yankees strike first. Unless it's like a surefire thing on any big card, I always do that, Crowder. I mean, we've, we've sold enough with you, you know. Sanchez, Bauer, Merrifield, and Johnny Bench. Is that Otani? That is not Otani. Charles's favorite Cardinal, Otani. Adam Wainwright out of 75. Robin, nice card. I imagine you got to be a fan of Wayno, right? <laughs> you can send me money with no fee. Little triple color patch on the Wainwright. That's a nice card. Two relics to start off the case. I figured, yep. Yep. Nothing like an extra couple thousand going into the show. Turn it into a nice chrome KB, or no, not big on KB. Nice chrome Rizzo, nice chrome Baez or something. Turn it into a nice uh, investment piece, PC piece. Nice Vlad. One Vlad. Each case has had two Vlad base and a bronze so far. Cody Bellinger, and we got ourselves a case hit right off the bat. Another one for Haig. David Price. World Series champion David Price. Man, a couple nice PC cards for you tonight, bro. 5 out of 15. Pairs nicely with the Sale Metal Black. 
hit earlier. Nice price. Try color, bro. Is there a reason no Bryant? I can't remember, Crowder. Is it because you think he's going to get traded? Because, man, he is hot right now. Or is it just how expensive he is compared to the other guys? I agree with you on that. Because he is way pricier than the other dudes. And it's not like Baez and Rizzo are that much worse. They may be better. Uh, nope. Foil corner up there. See, it's tipped. She's pretty, though. Nice card. One case hit down. Gotcha. That'll make sense. Ben, there has not been one redemption card all night. Not one. Syndergaard. Nice Tatis rookie. Correa. Red Big Mac. That's, that's kind of a sharp looking card there. Just for a parallel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn, there's our first Hall of Famer. Eddie Matthews, a beautiful card for the Braves out of 25. Chriswell. PC, four game used bat slices hiding out under Big Mac. That'll play. Silver parallel out of 25 on the freaking Hall of Fame relic. Legends Quad is what the actual subset is called. Starting off this case, nice. That first card. Nice Wainwright patch, price case hit, and a Matthews legend. These are case hits too. Not technically, but you guys saw we did two full cases without one. Shouldn't take up any uh, spots from the regular case hits either. Hell yeah, man. That's a beauty. Okay. Got a canvas. Oh, I just fudged that up so awkwardly. Nolan Ryan, six no hitters. Reproduction, just in case anybody missed it. Nice card. Texas. Nolan Ryan is a stroke. Soto. Eloy. Bronze. SP rookie. And a Yankees quad. Yeah, for these Yankees quads. Sanchez, Torres, Little Miggy, and Didi. Four pieces right there. Pretty nice. Four out of 99 for the Yanks. All game used. Primary pieces. Let's go with the quads. We don't have a base auto yet. Let's begin all the relic packs. Yeah. Archer Mojo for Chad coming up. And another gold. Big Mac. Dion. Sal. We have a blue Chris Archer out of 150. And which way are we going here? Gold. Hopefully another nice patch. Yeah, six Venturas, and six no-nos, and a Ventura TKO, man. Oh, that does suck, Crowder. Nice Buxton, though. Jersey number, 25-25. Nate W. with the Twinkies. Nice card, dude. Little PC for you. Kind of a patch on that Buxton. That red has a little bit of weight, but not a lot. Corona High School they have done a really nice job, comparatively from other years. They really have. I feel like, honestly, Museum has completely overtaken Tribute. I would say early 2010, 2011, all the way up to like maybe 2015. I would say uh, Topps Tribute was like the highest end of the highest end. Triple Threads is always awesome. I love Triple Threads, but... A bad case of triple threats can be brutal. We've all seen them. We've all been part of them. We know that. Tribute used to be the crown jewel. I think, honestly, Museum has taken that over. The ball has life coming out of his hand. We'll see as we rip more, though. Definitive, I don't really count because it's it's only, what, definitive in its third year, I think? Second or third year? You gotta, if it stays around for four or five years, then we can start uh, bringing it into the discussion. Syndergaard. Bronze. What do we got underneath? Canvas? It's a Yachty. I don't think that's an original. I think I just messed up the order here. Josh Hader for the Brew Crew. Nice card. Little pinstripe there. Right on the left-hand side. 31 out of 50 on the Hader. And just a reproduction on the Yachty. Nice card, though, for you. Robin. That is fought back through the middle for a base hit. Solano's been impressive. The Dodgers have seen him over these last uh, couple weeks. 
I guess we didn't really open enough of it to, to know. KB, JT, Nolan Ryan Bronze. Zimmerman, second nice patch of Zim on the night. Three colors for the Nats. Mike E, one out of 99. The relics were pretty cool. They do all sorts of cool things with the relics. I agree. I just don't consider Definitive a flagship product for high-end baseball. For me, it's Triple Threads, Museum, Tribute, and then whatever else they toss in. Defin like I said, Definitive in a few years, sure. Could be up there. Kikuchi, 37 out of 99 purple. Nice card. And Kutch out of 50 and a Honus Wagner for the Pirates reproduction. Nice looking card there. First plane relic. Didn't start a stack for those yet. It'll be right. Here. Oh, I, oh, I don't, I don't mean it's not high end. It's obviously completely high end for sure. I just don't consider it like the three high end products every year. Johnny Bench, Matsui, Clemens, Tanaka. It's kind of like definitive. I feel like is like, uh, like luminaries, like a gimmick product. Five star too. I completely forgot about five star. It's a knockout of 99. Scooter Jeanette for Cincinnati out of 299. A lot of graph game used. White jerseys. You don't want the wear and tear on your closer having to rush to get ready. But yeah, it's it's up there. But that's a reason why we didn't really break that much of it too. It's just too freaking expensive. Oh, I agree. There was some bad cards. There were some nice cards. There were some bad cards. Bregman, nice canvas. Hoskins, Big Poppy, Frank Bronze, and Danny Jansen, rookie auto for the Jays. Plus Kelly threw 24 pitches. 51 out of 299, rookie auto. Diamond icons, yeah, exactly. Those are just gimmick products that they put out. They have a two to three year lifespan and then they stop making them. But tribute, five star, triple threats museum. Dynasty's been out for a while now too, yeah. But Dynasty to me is another gimmick gimmick product. It's, you know, five cards a case. That's not really a, a breakable product long term. People are going to get destroyed. Lindor, nice Alonzo rookie. Seems to be an SP. I've only seen two of those all night. Vlad, however, is not an SP. Strasburg got a 99, and we got a Carlos Santana out of 299. 246 out of 299. Little game use with white. Agreed, Greg. Agreed. I know. I do wish NT had a had a license. Immaculate? No, Ben. Uh, look, we break Panini baseball just because mainly we have to to get allocations on other products. You guys know how that works. But I am not ever a big fan of Panini baseball in general. I I like some of the cards. I know you guys love it. Some of you guys hate it. So we break it, you know, there's something for everybody to each their own. Some guys absolutely detest it. Some guys swear by Panini Baseball. But by, de by definition, Panini Baseball is far cheaper per hit. They don't have licenses. You don't have uniforms on the card. You know, it's just one of those things. You either love it or hate it. I, I'm not a fan of Immaculate, though. Not baseball. The other products, football, basketball, obviously. They're high-end stuff, so they work. They work well for those sports, but just not for baseball. That's just my own personal preference. Tanaka, canvas. That being said, I actually think I have a couple NT and Immaculate cards in my collection. So. <laughs> yeah, they really do. It would be amazing. It's it's probably a pipe dream, though. I don't see it ever happening. It'd be great if they did. Dion out of 50. Arias, finally I deliver for Brian. Man. Rough so far. Hopefully we can double up or triple up here. 86 out of 299 for you, Brian. There's your first Luis. Kid is absolutely crushing it in the minors. Should be up to the big soon. Along with Keston Hira. There's another guy that's just destroying the minor leagues. Brewers need to make a trade to free up some space for that boy. Nola. Urias. Kluber. Little Clemens Bronze. Is that the end of the game? Patrick Corbin, archival autographs. That one threw me for a loop for a second. 39 out of 299. That's the first base archival autograph we've had this case. So they're all hiding. We'll have a good run of them at some point here. 39 out of 299. 
I like turtles. <laughs> that would be amazing, John. But that will never happen. Upper Deck just has a stranglehold on, on them. I would love for it to happen, but no. Little Miggy, Ricky, Larkin, and a Sandy Koufax bronze. Don Sutton. That is an autograph I had no idea was in here. 248 out of 299 for the LA Dodgers. Perfect game in the World Series, Don Sutton, right? It's his claim to fame, as well as had, you know, had a pretty decent career, too. Corey, that's all you, man. Second archival auto in a row. Let me just put something on in the background here. You guys are going to get your uh, fill of Buck Martinez here. Put the Jays replay on. Just a second here. He wants to contribute. He wants to win. And there we go. Hasn't gone his way, but he got off the Don Larson had the perfect game. Not something. My bad. The chronology autos are very nice. Yes, they are. Sanchez will let it go. Here comes Guerrero. He'll make the play. Robbie Cano. Kopech. I couldn't remember if he was, Greg. I was 50-50. I'm like, is he? Is he not? Uh, Sal Perez. There's a nice blue out of 150. Autograph? Andy Pettit. Now, that's a nice one. It, boy, that looks like an original. Uh, I can't set Andy down, can I? It's a reproduction. Fooled me, Goldschmidt. That really looked like an original, though, from that angle. Nice Goldie for the Cardinals. Robin, there's the Andy again. One of my favorite players of all time that wasn't a J. Ryan, you are on the board with Yankee Ink. You get a couple Yankee relics, so now you got some Yankee Ink. About a third of the way, actually a fourth of the way through the case for anybody wondering. The orange inceptions were really nice, Lauren. I agree. I'm the same way, though. If something catches my eye, I buy it. I mean, I don't mean to say it like that. That sounded like such an asshole. If something catches my eye, I try to add it to my collection. Matt Carpenter, Cody Bellinger. Ichiro Blue out of 150, and there's the first one. Jaren, you are the lucky J owner. First Vladdy Museum rookie. 236 out of 299. Little streaky on the ink, Vlad. Not too bad, though. Yeah, but I'm really not that way. I, I'm not that way with my collection at all. So 236, nice Vladdy, man. We'll get that sleeved immediately. Jaron on the board. Yes, it is, my friend. Does have a chippy corner, so it wouldn't be any gray in there. But a beauty nonetheless. What did I sound like a perv with, Ben? When I saw the Vlad? There's something I have not seen. Have we seen this type of border yet? We're going to find out what it is in just a second. I don't think we've seen that yet. Votto, Ichiro, Judge, and a Tatis Bronze Parallel Rookie. I don't know which way I'm going with this. We have not seen one of these yet. He's never gone through tough times I don't know what it is. Now, Good luck. He has 163 it is a... And obviously oh that's boy. not even a third of a season. Damn. Those are and sharp. You know the Superstar the showpieces. That is really, really so sharp. So one out of 25. Ah, I got you, Ben. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> I promise I'm not a perv. Little streaky on the J. Chriswell, though. Nice auto for the collection, buddy. Superstar showpiece. It's a really nice looking set. It almost looks like a, looks a little Topps tribute. But beautiful. Nice card. First one of those we have seen. Okay. Not even the halfway point yet. We still got one more row to go through, and then we'll be there. Mattingly has that card. Nice. Just set up an eBay search, Lauren. Mattingly's a good golfer. Smoltz is a good golfer. Show us your inner perp. Lauren, I think you've been waiting a few more uh, four more years than one. Maybe, maybe two or three years. Am I wrong? 
Smoltz is a good golfer, nice. Lauren is infamous for losing her password, unfortunately. But she's been good the last year. I haven't seen I haven't seen one instance. Hideki! <laughs> Clemens, Trey Turner, we got a Matty Chat. For Animal, nice auto for the pods. Brian, little consolation piece, 32 out of 299. Looking at that jersey number, that looks like 32. I think. 32 out of 299. So it might be jersey number, I can't tell if that is. Easy way to find out. Two pinstripes, too, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, you said something about waiting a year for me to release my inner perv, and I said, Lauren, I think you've been waiting longer than a year. That's all you've missed. Not much. Just a little jab from me. Crazy looking patch coming. That is a really nice canvas. Kershaw. Frenimal is number 32. Good stuff. Reproduction on the Kershaw. There's a little jersey number there. Hideki, and we got a gold, a meaningful material, and it's nice patch. Let's see who we got. Porcello! Haig! Building the PC tonight, bro. Triple color. Rick, 15 out of 25. Meaningful material. Yes, he does, Greg. Yes, he does. He likes hanging out with his teammates. He, you know, he gets on them, they get on him. I know, Lord. A joke. He's just I know. Guys. He just happens to be the best baseball player on her. There's no pretense. <laughs> Lauren doesn't to seem to think so, Crowder. Little Miggy, Tony, Jackie, Soto. This one will get away from Ahmed Del Rosario with Ahmed. Jaron, 22 out of 50 on the Ahmed. We've only got three of those out, so there's going to be a couple more, unfortunately. 12 for Kate. Give or take. Dion. We got a Sal Perez. Jose. Little Kutch Bronze. And another goal. Another patch. Duel. Out of 10 for the Giants. Busta. Brandon Crawford. Triple color and a two color. Corey. No skunk for you. Didn't I get you a gold dual patch last case, too, to avoid the skunk? Or was that somebody else? Four out of ten. Very nice posy patch, specifically, too. That will sell very, very well. Obviously, huge market for Boston. So close. We got a one-on-one, folks. First one-of-one one of the case. Giddy up, Frank Thomas, Koufax, Kutch, Severino Bronze, here we go. Oh, Museum, oh, you guys saw it. Fooled me, sideways. I told Ryan I had a feeling on the Yankees. To be fair, I had that same feeling in case two. Wow, that is a monster. Glabar Torres, Majestic, Logo Man, one of one. Anybody with a good memory, I feel like we pulled the same card last year's museum. Anybody here that has a nice, nice memory? It is some sort of ink on there, yeah, black. Maybe something they did in inventory or something to not notate that it was checked or something, I don't know. I feel like we pulled the same one last year, though. I could be off. Maybe it was definitive we pulled it out of. Uh, I'll read off the number. Ryan, if you want to check that out, see what game it was used in, here are the two numbers on here. Uh, prefix is JC, and then the code is 0, 0, 3, 0, 6, 9. You guys can type that in on the MLB database online and figure out what game that was used from. Huge card, Glaybar. Damn, Yankees finally deliver. It's only a matter of time. Frank B in the house. You see your Griffey, bro? Hopefully I didn't spoil it. Epic Griffey you had in case two, man. No, I remember that one, Nate. I, uh, I definitely pulled a Glabar last year, the logo band. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we had it on consignment. That's why I remember it. But yeah, we definitely pulled one last month, too. I actually forgot all about that, dude. Jeez. Two Glabars. Second Eloy. First case, we've had two Eloy rookies. 
Ronnie Acuna, it's a purple out of 99, and a Joe Bauer. Nice card. Nate? Nate? Two nice PC cards for you, man. Nice Buxton patch earlier, too. Little Mauer. 35. We are officially at the halfway point. 24 minis remain. Here we go. Spring training jersey. Oh, no. That actually does affect the uh, value a little bit. Kind of a fatter pack. It'll still go for very, very good money, but that does suck that it wasn't an actual regular season game. So spring training jersey, does it give anything else? Just April 19th? Look at museum sneaking in a Glabar spring training jersey. So it was a museum that must have been definitive last year, Diamond Icons last year. Oh well. Third Glabar 101 in the last two years then. That's it? Yeah, interesting. Here we go. Chris Archer. Trevor Story. Blake Snell. Sandberg. Purple out of 99. And Gene Segura. For some reason as an... No, he is as a Philly. Jeez, I thought it was an angel at first. Phillies! Correct team. My bad. Almost tried to bash tops. 10 out of 2. 99 for the Phillies. JP on the board. Yeah, I guess so. Buster, Albert, Frank, and Ricky. Pretty excellent grouping of players right there. And the auto is a Tukey for Chris Wells, PC. 123, 299. Little Tukey Tucson rookie auto. That's why I thought Angels. I was like, why did they put him on the Angels? He hasn't been with the Angels in what? Four years, but I just spoke too soon. It honestly would probably sell better if it didn't have that sticker on it. Yeah. Fair point, Crowder. Canvas is not an original. That is a really cool one, though. I'll take a better look at that in a second. We may have another Legends row. That might be my favorite looking uh, canvas so far. Somewhere the 101 is going to get pulled. That is awesome. Nice Benny. Cool card. Here we go. Looks like a Legends relic from the side. See if I'm an idiot or if I'm right. I'm right. It's a legend. Boy, that's an old jersey. I did not peek, but I would guess Honus Wagner. It's Tris Speaker for the Red Sox. Damn, 11 out of 25. Ty Cobb, very good guess, too. Hey, have yourself a break, my friend. Damn, man. Oh, jeez, it says Red Sox right there. I couldn't even see that. It was in the glare. 11 out of 25. Nice card, bro. That is really freaking cool. Four pieces of game used bat of Tris Pika. Sox legend. Man, you've got some really nice cards. This might be the best one overall so far. We've got two, one, one of one so far. Not two. A lot of insert sets that we did not hit in the early cases. Canvas is a reproduction. That might be one of the worst ones. Sorry, Giants fans. That's, well, I don't know, maybe not. I feel like that's Posey as like a 15-year-old. It doesn't look like adult Buster Posey. Maybe I'm off. What do you guys think? Posey. It's not as bad as the Yelich. That's true. That Yelich is not flattering. Mookie and the hit. Trey Mancini. Quad game used bats. 75 for the O's. That's awesome, Hank. Good call, man. Good call. I'm never, ever going to live Gary Carter down. Nor should I. Canvas, the babe. Not the original, though. I flipped that quick so you couldn't see. Nice babe. Yanks, Ryan A, all you. Play on your comm C. Kikuchi, rookie. 
Ripken, Sandberg, and another relic. Get him out early. Bregman, nice card, 99. Little variants of color. Uh, Ben, the trout does actually look a little baby faced. Did you see it earlier or no? F Tim from Charles for the Bregman. Nice, bro. Perfectly timed, Tim. Good stuff. Just pop back into the chat. Drop an F Tim. Soto. Johnny Bench. 150 Miguel Enduhar. Blue. 63 out of 150. Uh, if we see another one, I'll show you, or maybe maybe another one will pop out. If not, if you remind me after the break, I can grab the one from the other break. But yeah, Trout looked a little baby face on his, too. Chad! Archer, Marte, Tyone, Bell, 75. A little dirty jersey on the Tyone. Or maybe just a throwback. Game is bad on the Marte in his quad. Next round. We'll make the grab for out number one. Galvis stays at second. Get the grill that's made for steak. Your best grilling experience. I would love to see a trout auto. Available at your local Hell hardware. Yes, Here's please. Mm. You have dinner? No. Mm. <laughs> Not quite heavy enough to be a metal. <laughs> Definitely felt heavier than a regular pack, though. I had dinner. Probably just imagining things. Here we go. One down, a runner at second, three nothing angels. Here in the bottom of the second, any chance of the catcher. Okay, Beltre tipping the cap. On the season. Future Hall of Famer right there. Donnie, Nolan, Posey, Albies. Nice Braves break overall. For ball one. 37 out of 99. Three Couple game years back. And gray and black jerseys. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, John. We're gonna, I'm gonna have an email sent out in the afternoon with the guaranteed start times for each specific break. Um, obviously the appetizer will lead us off. There's only like seven or eight teams left in that, I think. And then, uh, I got a decision to make on when I'm gonna schedule each part of Rookie Peak. I would love to be a beast and break them all tomorrow night and then do the rest Friday afternoon from the shop. That may be the plan. Uh, if I'm not able to pull that off, I'll go live Friday and finish the rest up. Assuming the two big Bowman breaks fill up, they're both under nine spots left now. So I'm assuming they will. Pretty confident they will. But if they don't, we'll push them to Friday. Nice Tatis, and the hit is Ryan O'Hearn on the 299. So appetizer will lead off. I, I just, I'm not sure on the times yet. O'Hearn. But now, you got it, bro. Trying for you, bro. You're going to have a nice stash of rookie cards, at least. They will sell okay. Museum rookies actually tend to sell decent, along with tribute rookies. Triple threads rookies don't sell too well. It's very odd. Each eater! Judge, Big Mac, Crowder, you're welcome to hop in a car and fly up and rip with me, bro. Dion Blue out of 150. I seem to remember you at the National... Ripping a Bowman case. What was it? Three, four hours, I think? Snell! Reigning Cy Young for Mikey. Nice card. Not putting up the same numbers this year. Should say so far. We still got a whole yeah, second half of baseball. Very nice. Would appear Vigio, but it would appear okay. When he gets here. Ozzy. JD. Piazza and Trey Turner. Looks like a sideways patch of sorts here. Turner's a brown. Nice photo. That is a really nice card. Cincinnati for Mr. Pibb. I said 6 out of 25, little pinstripe. Game you. Two bats, too. I know, dude. Just jabbing you. Yay! Snell got hammered that bad. Has anybody in the room watched Snell pitch this year? Because I have not watched him pitch. Not even once. I've actually missed every single one of the starts. Very nice quad, yeah. Is he just hanging pitches? Is his velocity down? I'm just kind of wondering. Cy Young to not so good this year. Uh, Verlander and Bueller, JD, Jose Ramirez, 150 blue. Nice DD, gold. Yanks, 21 out of 25, little pin strike. 21 out of 25. Is that really what it was, Hey, 
they've announced that now. Another They're claiming it was a mistaken ID, so it was a hitman. But he was just not, uh... <laughs> <laughs> shot the wrong guy, basically. Repro on the canvas? It's a DeGrom. Nice card for the Mets. Side side dunk. Nice card. Solid right there. Yeah, we're sitting in the street. Carpenter, Bellinger, Rizzo, and a Josh Hader auto. One out of 299 for the Brew Crew. Corey! All you, man. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that either. Huh? Got a track record the last couple of years of the minor yeah. league level. How do you live in the Dominican Republic and not know who up a foul territory and this big poppy is? As well, and I think that's because he just hasn't figured out his timing yet. He's a big strong, he did guy. cut the hair. Definitely not a baseball play. fan. No, a few home runs and get the best out of your pitching staff. But that's I amazing. Think you think so, Joe? He hasn't found that timing mechanism that's going to allow him to catch I trust your league. insight. Working in law enforcement. Andrew Heaney, a battle here in the bottom of the second. Angels leading three to nothing. I'm sure a lot of stuff goes covered up down there. Though. Here we go. Final, uh, what do we got? Finals, final 12. All right. Ben Intendi, Bo Nose, Chris Davis, and Carpenter. Autograph is Ozzy Albies, Braves. Keep it up, 11 out of 299. Good stuff, archival autograph, Albies. I feel like we're going to have a lot of autos here in the end. we got pretty high stacks of relics. That's another superstar? Wow, another superstar. Went two cases without having one, now we got two. Stanton, Chapman, Rizzo, and another Stanton. Superstar so two on with Sainz, out, is that what it was? Rowdy Tellez, who again is Superstar showpieces, anyway. that's going to get me an F10 from, from Joe. To be just Very nice card, DeGrom, for the Mets, 18 out of 25. Out of 25. Man, those are just beautiful. Could get a start there. Superstar showpieces, Mets, Jaron, all you, man. Lefties. Beautiful card, no Alonzo yet, nice DeGrom. Second to Grom, I believe. Few of those, although bigger, slower curveballs last night from Skaggs than that breaking ball from me. Yeah, and Rowdy's made some good adjustments hitting left-handed pitching last year in limited action. He was just two for 20. <laughs> Yikes. Boy, that would be very, very shitty. Everybody on that Freddie, probably about what Clayton, from we got a Ronnie Acuna, what you can Strasburg. Do I have not followed the story at all, so I don't really know. I've, I don't have much insight at all. No clue. Side, ball two. Justice Sheffield, so Seattle Mariners, 299, little rookie auto for the end. Frank B, and he have all you, man. Fastball, but you really have to honor and try to really okay, next pass. Yeah. Absolutely. Man. Field. That'll keep you on Very streaky. Sheffield needs, uh, Sheffield needs some signing lessons. Back-to-back -back streaky inks with him and uh, Ozzy Albies. Corey Seager bronze. We got an auto. It's another Eloy. Damn. Heating up. Two of these in the last two cases. 249, 299. JP. Nice hit, bro. Kid is something else on the White Sox. 249, 299 on the Eloy. Sheffield jersey. I didn't even notice. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, you can pretty much tell that's a fake hat, dude. Hard to see on camera, but there's like no fabric to it. It's literally just like Photoshop paint. The hat. <laughs> okay, next card. We got a gold. Manny Machado. Derek Jeter. Showtime. Albert and Scooter Jeanette. One out of 25. Cincinnati Reds. Archival autograph. That's nice. Gold. Next pack, and we're to our final six. That's really what happened? I got to read the story then. Jesus. I did not hear about that at all. We got a red with a crazy looking patch. I heard the original story that he got shot, and then I honestly didn't look up anything after that. Wow. No bueno. Koufax, Kutch, 
Mookie and a Kikuchi Bronze. Let's see who's going home with a nice red patch. Damn. Two of them for Andrew. Seven out of ten on the goldie quad color. That is nice. Not too bad for the cheapest team in the break. Actually, the Marlins were cheaper. Andrew M., if you're still around, nice card, man. You hit one of these last case, too. 7 out of 10. Yeah, I guess. A lot of, a lot of rumors. The truth will come out eventually. So you're sleeping with a girlfriend of a drug lord. That story quickly got swept under the rug. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying, mate. Yeah. Lee. Lee. Griffey. Harper. Springer. So they don't check for game audio, Joe. They don't check for game audio because technically it's available on the radio too, I guess. That's my guess. It's probably not right. Autograph. Not an auto. Meaningful material duel. I actually didn't realize they had base duels. I thought the duels were only lower number. Pedroia and Xander. Nice card for you, hey. 48 out of 50. That may have been started by me. A specific rumor. <laughs> yes. True. True, true. Yeah, I imagine. I, I mean, I imagine eventually they'll catch it and they'll be flack. But you guys, uh, you guys wanted the music gone earlier tonight, so I obliged. Stanton out of 99, and another meaningful material. 35, Granky to color for the Diamondbacks. Another one. All right, four left. We have no frame this case. This case has had a ton of insert low-numbered stuff, though. Two superstar showpieces, two legends relics. Maybe we won't get a frame. The Vlad button, F Chad. Supposed to be F Chad. Nola. Luis. Kluber. Yelich in another crazy patch. This was the case of patches. 17 out of 35 on the Scherzer. Well, three color. Well, yeah, of course you could do that, but I mean their YouTube algorithm. Nets! They had a nice patch earlier, too. Cannot remember who it was. Okay, we got a thick card in our third to final pack. Strasburg, Tanaka, Sandberg. Rizzo is a purple out of 99, and another patch. Meaningful material. What is going on? You know we're going to be part of I have to the count these up at the end, make sure we didn't get more than 12. 24 out of 35. Nice brawn patch, though. Corey, that's all you. I don't mind it when they do that, Joe. i got to be honest. I don't mind the randomness. Uh, I think we got a frame right there. I forgot. We had a heavy, heavy pack earlier. I don't know how that one managed to make it all the way to the end, but that's something. Booker frame, definitely. But I, I like it when they just randomly, you know, have a list of case hits. That's fine. But then you, you know, you get the shot at the, uh, the crazy case. Nice Griffey. There should be. I agree, at least minimum case hits. But have you seen a case that didn't have at least three or four minimum case hits? Griffey Canvas. We got a chipper, a tucker, a blue McGuire out of 150, and another meaningful material. Maybe we just got a bunch early and then a bunch late. 39 out of 50. Our stack's right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, this is 11. 12 was a patch in the other stack, so yep. That was uh, two years ago, yeah. Two years ago, a guy had a case with 20. I don't know if it was 20, but it was up there. Maybe it was 20, if you remember specifically. Damn, silver frame, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, one case, 20 101s. Crazy. Chris Sale. Zion is a great kid, hey. He he really is. I don't think RJ is humble, man. I think RJ is fake humble. 
You collect your samples. But, in Polegard, you just my opinion from a Duke fan that watched every single game. I could very well be off because obviously I'm a homer and I have guys I like and guys I don't like. Verlander and here we go. Silver frame to close the night. These were backwards. Just let me peek. I'm not looking at the player. Yep, we got it backwards. So I'm going to flip it around this way. Here we go. It is... Oh my dear lord. I feel like I need to slow motion this. Chriswell, don't have a heart attack, my friend. Hank autos are so rare. Verlander was a bronze, by the way, at the end. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Silver ink. Hank. Damn, dude. You said an epic Braves case, dude. Wow. That is big money. 10 out of 15. I think you got to keep that. I hope you keep that. I totally understand if you sell, but man, that is just beautiful. Holy shit, boss. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what everybody else thought. Damn. No Trout, no Otani on the night, guys. If we run more of this, Angel's Odd should come out. Uh, I would give it a shot. If that's mine in my collection, I'm absolutely giving it a shot. Um, they usually grade pretty well, too. I don't see any discernible flaws. The centering is not great. That's where they would ding you. But it's not terrible. Left to right gap is not that far off. Just a touch, I would say. Sorry, Crowder. Played the odds. They should have came out. Anybody want a personal box to close Eve? Just let me know. I got a couple sitting around. They're in the store, too. 10 out of 15. Hank, close the show. All right, uh, I'll do a recap in just a few minutes, guys. We had quite a few case-hit-worthy ones there, so a few minutes, I'll have the recap. You're Aaron Sanchez. You got to be feeling quite a bit better now than you were about ten minutes ago when you fell behind three to nothing. Yeah, absolutely. In the bottom of the order. Jesus, I did completely it for forgot how to play ball. Tied once again. Beautiful. When you look at Sanchez, I was just gonna say that was our first case without a one on one. So many finger problems. Untrue. It's kind of unfair to compare Sanchez this year, maybe to the ERA champion. Okay, base auto. Damn, with Vlad and Sanchez Eloy that case. More of a question of too many pitches falling. Ton of nice patches. Lack of command. Was that the best case we've opened tonight, guys? Those of you that have seen all three, I think it was. Good movement on that change up is 88. You throw the change of 88 to 90. But the fastball's been up 96, 97. Got I a lot of Instagram to do tomorrow. He's never going to be a command guy. He's never going to be one of those guys that hits the corners. The but he's got to trust his fastball enough to canvas. allow it to move and pitch ahead. I don't care who you are. If you pitch have a good one, Lauren. Ba 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 ba. You just have to pitch ahead. Oh, Crowder's happy for you, Chris. Two, two, he's just not happy with the Yankees. Down for a base hit. You think they've been so-so? That case had Eloy, Vlad, a 101 Torres, and a Hank. The case before it, Griffey out of 15. I don't remember who else. Chris Sale out of 5. I don't think those were bad cases at all tonight. I think they were really, actually quite nice. Definitive was iffy. I do agree Definitive was weaker, though, now that I think about it. Freaking price point, though. I do. I, I disagree. But that's okay. It's America. That's what we do here. We disagree with each other. Anyways, here we go, guys. Recap time. Quad relics. Pirates. 75 for Chad, and the other one was a Yankee. A little pinstripe action for Sanchez. Oh, we had Glabar, Didi, and Miggy on there, too. Quad relics. Here's our meaningful materials this case. We had Lester out of 50. Braun out of 35. Scherzer, 35. Granky for the D-backs. Little Red Sox duel there. Pedroia and Xander. Nimmo out of 299. Yeah, that's rough. Yes, we do, Ben. <laughs> Goldie out of 10. Uh, Maurer out of 35. Nice gold. That was for the Giants. A little posy triple color. And Crawford. A little two color there. Rosario out of 50 for the Mets. Porcello gold for the Sox. And Kutch. Out of 50 for the San Francisco Giants. Archival autos. We had Scuda for the Reds. Sheffield for the M's. Streaky Inc. Eloy, base rookie. 
Albies, 299. Hater, 299 for the Brews. Vladdy G, first base rookie we've seen. Andy Pettit out of 50. Sutton for LA. And Corbin for the Diamondbacks. Archive. Can't wait for the National. Oh, my God. It's going to be such a good friggin' show. Super excited. Uh, single player, quad relics here. Votto, beautiful card right there. Cincinnati, Albies for the Braves. Bregman for the Strohs. Mancini O's. Zimmerman for the Nats. Nice patch. Buxton, 25 out of 25 for the Twinkies. Little jersey number there. Wayno, very nice patch. Card's logo on the front, I do believe. Robin who hit that and Severino out of 75 for the end. The side of the infield, Vladimir Guerrero leaped up. And okay, we got these left and here. Right now with Freddy Didi out of 25. These are the autographed relics. The little pinstripe there for the Yanks. Snell, 299. O'Hearn for the Royals. Tukey for the Braves. Segura, Phillies. Got fooled. Thought it was the. Angels at first. Confuse me. Reyes for the Padres. Uh, Arias for the Pods. Santana for the Indians. Johnny Johnson. Scooter. Cincinnati. Josh Hader for the Brew Group. And our case hit slash rare hits. All the way at the end. Couple that we hadn't seen in the first two cases. Hall of Fame, Legends, Relics, awesome. Speaker out of 25. Little game used bats for the Sox. Eddie, game used bats for the Braves. And two superstar showpieces. These are just beautiful cards. DeGrom and Smoltz, both out of 25. Braves for Smoltz, obviously. Mets for DeGrom. Three cards left, four cards left. I can't remember here. We got three cards. True case hits here, momentous material, price, 5 out of 15, triple color with ink. Stunner right here for the Yanks, Ryan, Museum Memorabilia 101, tag, Glabar, man that's sick, 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 sick. Majestic tag, and the big boy at the end, man it's been a while since I pulled a live Hank auto. Silver ink frame, 10 out of 15. See that bad boy on Instagram tomorrow. Good stuff. 10 out of 15 on the Silver Ink. <laughs> Killing me tonight, Crowder. You get a stick, you're just like, ah, take it. <laughs> you got it, Brian. Sorry, man. I know. It has been a long time since Hank's been live, yeah. We're still waiting to see a finest. A finest Origins auto of his. Actually, I think Larry PM me today. A base finally came. Finally came off. Yeah. 86 miles an hour with good movement. My head is, is firmly entrenched where it is, bro. You know that. <laughs> Chris, well, congrats, man. It's a beautiful thing when it happens like that. PC break. Awesome break. Good stuff. Um, Just shoot me a PM tomorrow with what you want shipped. Or if you just want all of it shipped, let me know. That's easy. Easier. Did you mean live or alive, Joe? <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of them, Crowder. Uh, tomorrow, when I send out the mailer, guys, I'll have the randoms and the two -two. all set so you guys will know what the potential combos are for the big breaks. There's going to be three sets of randoms per big break. Which is the fastball that Sanchez I think most of you guys do that. Time. More suited for getting ground balls than strikeouts. <laughs> and... We heard a little bit earlier. So How long is BGS grading? Uh, all geared up in his Blue Jay jersey, just kind of taking it all in. Curveball and a ground ball. There's one and two. Yes. So uh, just for different products, John, so that you don't get stuck with the same team throughout all of them. I looked at it uh, with a checklist. It was just impossible to do a single random. We would have had people that would have no hits in certain products, so we'll do three different sets. We'll just it's just a re-random. So multi-case break, re-random for specific sets. Uh, if you look at the breakdown, I included which ones you get re-random for. But we'll do that all at the beginning of the break so everybody knows what they have. Yeah. Yep, you got it.
Turning 50 opens the door to a lot of new things. Like now, your doctor may be talking to you about screening for colon cancer. Luckily, there's me, Cologon, the non-invasive test we use at home. It all starts when your doctor orders me. No, no, no. Oh, God, no. I don't know yet, Chriswell. Uh, it'll probably be 7, 8, roughly. I'm going to shut the store down a little early tomorrow so we can get a nice early start. But uh, the afternoon, or uh, mailer will go out mid-afternoon with all the information, all the start times posted, blah, blah, blah. There'll be an early mailer too, so you guys can just ignore that. Oh, I'm definitely shutting the store down. It has been a busy as hell week. And I love me some Bowman, and I know you guys do too. Into the game, and it's already been a busy night for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, in a double to the base of the fence in center field, his ninth double of the season. And on defense, he's made a couple of very good plays. Took extra base away from Justin Moore, and then comes in and takes this slow roller. Makes a nice play on Jonathan Lucroy. And Vladdy, it's good to see him smiling again. And we haven't seen that smile for a few days, but you know what? Somebody asked me, uh, somebody asked me to grade something that I forgot to look at. Haig, was it you? I got your Ortiz set aside. There was something else, though. And Chris, well, I got the Hank set aside, of course. Do you look at the numbers? Do you look at the Uh, Jay's game, Crowder. Just the replay. They already finished, obviously. I look at the at-bats more than anything to see... If he's chasing, you know, he can't just the sale frame. Okay, I thought there was something else you asked me to look at, but possibly not. He even had a bouncing ball for a base at one time. But when he first came up, he was patient, but then he got into the red of swinging at a lot of borderline pitches. We need to see him zone in again and get back into hitting good pitches. He's got a great eye, but I think he just wants to live up to that hype so much he just wants to hit everything and you can't hit everything in the big leagues you have to hit good pitches good take there down and in three and one Pete Rose always said the most important thing in hitting is getting good pitches hit. <laughs> Chris Well is over the moon uh, I just talked to the rep today he said next week it'll be finished so it will be on route back they they were a little late on this one but they have they've been good recently so I didn't give them too much shit I think there were three and a half days, basically, by the time they get it done. He said the 25th, so that's next Tuesday. Yeah, next Tuesday it'll be back. Inside, he'll take a walk. And another good at bat for Guerrero. He takes a walk, and all yep. of a sudden you start to feel like the Blue Jays are getting a good idea what they need to do against Heaney. Just go up there, look for a good pitch. Don't be over anxious. If you don't get a good pitch, take the walk. So, Vladdy on base for the second time tonight. That'll bring up Lourdes Guriel Jr. 0 for 1 on the night. Had a home run last night. Uh, he was going after that. That was a big time swing. His Feet were moving. He was trying to hit that one into the fifth deck. Yeah, he's got great bat speed, much like Guerrero. But he was expecting to get a fastball. On the yeah, definitely, Chris. Well, walk to Vladdy, and he got it. Maybe swung a little bit too hard. Tough to tell, man. Really tough to tell. The price. That's what it was. Hey, yeah, I did have a bad core. Okay. Yep. You know, Just wanted to make sure I had everything set about up. About his approach, especially with two strikes, he said. I really think about swinging about 80% effort when I get the two strikes. And his 80% is pretty darn good. But I think a lot of hitters would benefit from that kind of approach. You don't have to hit everything at 100% effort. <clears throat> which one uh, Which one of the... the uh, there's so many now. There was the PSH thread and now there's the Beckett thread. Uh, the Black Label one, right, Crowder? That's the one you're talking about with Orlando. That's the newest one, with BGS anyways. Yeah. I don't think it's going to hurt him. I, the problem is, you know this, the market share. It's all PSA and BGS. No other grading company is going to, like, rise up from the ashes and, like, 
gain customers because there's no way to gain customers. They have basically a monopoly, but it's not really a monopoly because it's two country or two companies. I'm trying to fix this stupid thing here. I did not. No. Uh, it looks guess. amicable enough, but... It, yeah, it's yeah. like he had a question for Mike Winters, the home plate umpire. Winters is a crew chief for this umpire. Send me the, uh, send me the link on Facebook, Hague. I'll check it out when I get home. Something definitely on his mind he wanted to ask the umpire about. I feel like I forgot to do something. I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to save this video, 